Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the Solo Negocios Bulletin Summary for June the 1st, 2018. And today we're going to talk about the foreign exchange and specifically for the Mexican peso, which got appreciated even in the context of this uh, trade war uh, with the tariffs imposed by the U.S. yesterday and the retaliation by Canada, Mexico and potentially now the European Union uh, against the United States of America. Obviously, China will be included, so this will be getting uh, complex, let's say. Well, right now we can talk about the Forex market, which marginally appreciated or increased the position in pesos. The Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index, even with that, increased 0.08%. And it did increase because of good indicators in the US. But this is weird because regularly, when good indicators in the US are shown, or a result of, of their economic activity, then the potential uh, consequence is inflation growth. And if inflation takes place, the Federal Reserve behaves before it takes place, increasing the rate. And if the rate increases, the prime between the US rate and the Mexican rate decreases. And if that happens, then less dollars are entering into Mexico, making more expensive the US dollar in Mexico, in Mexican terms, in, Mex in, Pex in, Pe in the peso terms. Well, given this scenario, which is the ordinary, today didn't happen that way. Today, even with good indicators in the US, but already taking into account that the Federal Reserve will increase its rate on June the 13th, and potentially once more time in December this, uh, this year, the issue here at hand right now is not that if this will increase inflation or not, it's maybe even taken for granted. The issue right now is that even under the trade war situation, with current rules, even NAFTA rules that are current uh, being applied, now what we have is a pretty good scenario for the export market in Mexico, which has been growing since at least mid-2017, and now it's exploding. And with a good economy in the U.S., and let's say which sectors, specifically manufacturing ISM, it, it grows a little bit more than what it was, was expected. Labor cost increased 0.3% against 0.2%, which was expected. Generation of employment, 223,000 employees, and unemployment rate, 3.8%, pretty low and better than expected. So, these scenarios implies that people will have money in their hands right now, in their pockets. And this implies potential new uh, manufacturing orders, which will turn into manufacturing orders for Mexican exports, or even maquila orders for Juarez exports specifically. So, this scenario is pretty good in terms of current rules of international trade. But if they change, maybe this will be senseless. But at least this is the way that the market today, specifically in Forex, interpreted this situation. Uh, the Fed will increase the rate, uh, it's almost expected, uh, or confirmed expectation. Oil went down, dealing with, uh, was a good data for, for Mexican peso. And in Banco de Mexico reported three, three items. First, remittances. Family remittances grew to a record of $9 billion dollars on January, April uh, period of this year. This implies that our Mexicans in the US are sending more and even more money. But it's curious because they are supposed to be less Mexicans right now than a few years ago because they've been coming back any, anyhow. I mean, maybe by their own will or maybe because they were deported. But the issue is that they're coming back. So the, le the fewer that are, are still living in the US are sending more and more money. And this is not because it's been increasing immigration into the US from Mexico. It's because it's been increasing wages in the whole market, as we can see in the other data that I showed you. So given this, obviously, you have a, a good remittances issue, and this will help also the Mexican peso. In other instance, the survey of Mexican economist specialists um, in, increase their estimates for exchange rate for the end of 2018 from 18.83 cents uh, per, per, per dollar, pesos per dollar, to 1902, and in 2019 from 1856 to 1872, basically taking into account the current pressures. 
And finally, exchange hedges were demanded five times over the $200 million offered for 60 days, a little bit more volatility in the market. Basically, that's the information that we have. Thank you very much for your, for your attention, and we'll keep in touch next week. Thank you.